Welcome back everyone, it's Diamond Mew and I'm here with another Minecraft video in the nuclear age. But I made it somewhat more challenging because of me leaving the world, which I actually regret, but because of me leaving the world, I installed two new mods to make it interesting. Electro Bobs and Genetics Reborn. And of course we've got the two other ones which should be interesting. Um yeah. Let's do this. Hoping it doesn't lag. If it does, we'll deal with it. Maybe, depending on how much it is. So yeah. Comment down below if you guys would like to see um sped it just crash. Um, crash due to much of engineering. Hey, why did it crash due to immersive engineering when I don't have immersive engineering? It's the weirdest thing. There, should we set it? It's weird that it said that um, it crashed from immersive engineering when it crashed beforehand due to immersive engineering. I should think it crashed because of, of an immersive um, whatever it was. I, I had another immersive mod which was an add-on to engineering. So, yeah. And just to speed up our survival process, I'm going to attempt to use that book. I'm not sure if but you have an entire stack of them right next to me. And um, yeah. If you guys want to see more Musk on the channel, let me know. It was the video I was doing right before this. If you guys want to see more Minecraft, let me know. If you guys want to see more BMG um, police chases, definitely let me know. And once the war update comes out, and Space Engineers, I will be playing that a whole lot more. Only because I might be attempting to blow things up. So, yeah. I'm probably going to do one to two episodes worth of stuff in this episode. See, I'm still like eight and a half, might have just. But then instead of ten episodes, I might have like eight and a half. Ish. So yeah, already super player. Because that one did not work, I'm gonna have to do it again. There. Let's hope this world works. If the world doesn't work, I'm gonna be mad and give us an entirely new world. So yeah. And as you guys were seeing me trying to troubleshoot, I do think it was those files that I had in there. Yeah, I would say it was those files because that's what I got out of it. Ready? So. What the? My character is just moving. Okay. It's up. Hey. I'm in a ravine now. So. Great. Okay, so it's actually just iron. It's, it's specific material surrounded by it. There. Should be easy. That's all the, that's all of that stuff. Now this, hey, so the metal syringe, it's a glass syringe surrounded by iron, sitting in diamond. So this is the yeah, metal. Now it's advanced, it's diamond. 
um, orange organic matter is a cell. That's an anti field orb. Nice. Alrighty, so three, four things are glass. Technically, four things, then a bottle, glass bottle, arrow, and a glass piston. Get out of this hole now. There's kind of iron down here, so if I didn't. Oh, this stuff, what's it called? Not creative, so I couldn't figure it out. There we go. Probably be my, uh, um, it'd probably be a good bet just to die and then reset. I think that's copper. I'm not sure. It's either copper or advanced alloy, but I think it's copper. It's not last I played this mod. Actually, it's not last I played Minecraft on PC all together, so yeah. I was wondering my body was trying to get up there, and I was like, nah, that's not how I want to do this. Hey. Okay. Yeah, it's working. Just gotta stay here. Um, there we go, there we go, there we go, hey, respawn, is that a village or just a random house that spawned, I would say it's a village, yep, yes it is, villages, I'm hoping this one has a blacksmith, but villages are useful, No, I don't think this one has a black sign. Unless it's right here. But they know. Alright, then this village is useless. I was going to say villages are useless even if they don't have a blacksmith, but, well, these ones are. So, yeah. Here's what I'm saying. These ones is because. These ones don't have all the good upgrades like the other ones do. Okay, if I can get a piston, I can start genetically modifying. Hoping I run into like a ship or something. That works. If you saw for a brief second, try to come back into view, but that's how is not the mod I'm looking for. But the thing starting out wise, then the HBMs is better, but if you're wanting better loot at the beginning, you're gonna have to come here. And I just earned the achievement of who lives here, so yeah. Oh, you're an evil wizard. That was an evil wizard. If you saw before I started dying, the eyes were red, which meant he was an evil wizard. I'm gonna go back and kill him, or at least get the chest that I left. So yeah. And let me know if there's a way to fix my lag problem, because the, the chunks aren't loading correctly. And if one 
longer, if one of you guys say, it's how much memory I have, it's not, because I have like 50 gigs. <sighs> to be honest, it could actually be due to, actually no, it was doing the, relatively the same thing with HPMs. It could be how much games I have installed, even though none of them are quite as big as... I think the biggest game I have is... Oh, God. Okay. Peaceful. That's good. But that isn't... Well, maybe that is good. Just watch. Now. Okay, now I'm gonna get it out of here. Three, three, two, one, and nope. Oh god, no. Yeah, it bounces me back, and it hurts. Alrighty, so I have uh, whatever book that is. And then an amulet of. Um, whatever that says. So yeah, got some stuff. I'm gonna break this with my hand. This is usually what I do every time I have um, this mod installed. Because I either break with a pickaxe, which a one one takes forever. I think a stone to iron would work best on here, but I should have the diamond wood, but... For starting out, and I just took my hand off of it, so, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, just comment down below if you guys, um, how would you guys, ah, I hate this thing. Why don't we just do this? I always break this spawner, but I never work and think about doing this. It's because you have to break the spawner. Because the spawner is the only thing above that, which then makes it the thing above it, which would block it from opening. There. Smoke bomb, fire bomb, scroll of identity, scroll of, of identification. There. Yeah. Um. Poison. Ah, uh, that do anything. If I do a fire bomb. Those, these flowers right here, let me get to one. These flowers give you crystals once you um, put them in a crafting bench or just in your home-made crafting bench in your own inventory. Really just depends on where you want to put it at the current point in time. Because both will do the same thing, it's just one you have and the other sometimes you don't. So yeah. If you want to see more Minecraft videos, like and subscribe. If you guys want to stay, well, um, comment down below what you want to see um, for this video. So yeah. The next structure I find that is HPM or a wizard tower that's a good wizard as a chess. I think I'm gonna end this episode off. By the way, I want a HPM structure because those things actually is what this series is all about. So yeah. Hey.
Okay. Let's do this. Horses and the fishy. Once it's midnight ish uh, in the video. But in the meantime, let's go find some structures. But yeah. Actually, HBM structure. Don't know if that's a good one or a bad one. I'm leaning towards a bad one. I was correct, but let's see. Magic test, what will you give me? Military trick board. There's another one. Steel. Other games that I actually need. And look what, at what was right next to it. Really? Alrighty, what's in this one? No. There. Batteries. A nuclear bottle cap. And another thing of scrap. I discovered a leap. Really? This dude's house, but do T. Where's Cortex? Where's Cortex? There. Negative five, eighty-three, sixty-four, thirty-two. There. I don't want to lose. Um. This was actually previous one. Actually. Good boy. I think you're the one I can trade with. Yes. You're a healer. I don't like healers, but they're practical all that's in the game. We'll just keep them up. But yeah, um just because I want to. There. Yeah, I regret that. Now, if I can get out of this place before you even notice me, he's not even out there. Okay. I broke a window to make him um, get that achievement, but I'm just to see would he actually do it. I knew he, um, the um, he would get mad. He's not even doing anything. Usually they, um, try and hang on what spells they have. Usually they try, um, using their magic to get out, but... Their magic is healing. Really, they're just healing you. So depending on your magic, I would attempt to collect some very deadly magic. Yeah. In my opinion, um, necromancy is the most powerful. Yes, it does not have that much attacking abilities, but once you start dealing damage, it's amazingly powerful. And the abilities on it are nice. So yeah. And she has a storm mage, so he will not have anything. But it's midnight, so let's go to creative world. So yeah. But give me a minute, we will be back in three, two, one back. Alrighty. So yeah, um I'm gonna call it test. Because, yeah, there's going to be magic tests, genetic tests, any tests, nuclear tests, destruction tests, public computer tests, 
see if my computer can handle any of the major nuclear weapons I'm putting. This would have been a good spawn for this, but this isn't completely that good. Alright, now. That, on the other hand, is, compared to the other ones I've seen, good, but if we can get the other one I want, that can spawn in this biome, but it's extremely, well, it's not extremely, because there is a seed out there that spawns three to four near each other, including a factory. So, yeah. But where is it? It can spawn in a beach and a savanna, so... No, not that. That. And in the desert. They're most common in deserts. So, yeah. Um... Where is it? If I find it, I'll let you guys know. If I don't, I'll just explain it later. Well, I could nuke that. That would actually be a cool thing to nuke. Yeah, unless it comes within frame rate, um, uh, comes within, uh, not frame rate. Comes within, um, render distance. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna stay here. Hey, so let's get some genetic stuff done. So, yeah. So, there, 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 um, cell analyzer, anti-fuel weapon, um, plasma injector, incubator, that, that, I'm not sure what a ton of the stuff does. Um, scraper, yeah. Eh, uh, sure. Overclocker. The Helix. Eh, uh, sure. Hell's Crystal. Hey! I feel, what does it do? Hey. Eh. Hey, you so that stuff doesn't do anything currently, but this, there's an advanced version. So, yeah, I'm gonna need to take a look at that. Then, a eh, there. Alright, so yeah, I'm gonna get that down. You need to decrypt her. Um, do an extractor. That's what that's for. Alrighty, we're getting somewhere. There we go. Alrighty, so my character. Nope. As I was saying, my character's DNA is currently in there. Alrighty, now, and that. Is that, um, Cell. Is this it? Clear. Cloning. C. 
cell analyzer. That's what I need. Then that. Oh, sand looking thing, organic matter. <laughs> no, could be a cloning machine. No, what is it? Um, um, that no. What creates what I need? Alrighty. Um, what is it? Um, give me a minute. Alrighty. Just gene. Give me a minute. I'm going to read this. Um, um, give me a minute. <laughs> What's it called? Genetics Reborn. Got it. Alrighty. Genetics. Be born mod. Um. I'm gonna need to find the wiki on this thing. There we go. Is this it? Um. No, 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 no. There we go. Alrighty. This should be the lucky. Alrighty. Alright, um. See it. Um. Oh, how do do this? I don't want to know how to create this stuff. And when I say the stuff, I mean like stuff, stuff. No, alrighty, um... <sighs> Getting started, I guess that's it. Um, metal scraper. Okay, so I will need a metal scraper now. Do I just use it against myself? I can't. 
can, I don't think. Okay. Um, let's go. Yeah. Just test. Let's do it against a. Oh, Enderman. Hunter Chopper. No. Enderman. And that was it? Nope, that's what the skills. So that's an Enderman. There. There me there's my thing. I need that. I do need that though. There. Now we're getting somewhere. So once the cell is done. Actually, I think I'm this is organic matter, so... Yeah. Yep. Cell. Cell type. Enderman. At least getting somewhere. So yeah. It would be quite hilarious if I could create a virus with this stuff, like, accidentally infect the wrong thing. Alright, now... This is where I'm going to start genetically, uh, probably messing something up. Go back to that because I got most of it and getting started. Um, cell analyzer, a DNA extractor, DNA encrypt, decryptor, plasmid infuser. Blood plasmid injector. That's the infuser. So. Hey. I'm gonna get blood purifier. Cell Analyzer DNA Extractor, alrighty. So actually I'm just going to do everything besides, like where's the... So I'm just going to do that, that, and that, slash clear. There, alrighty, so... Cell Analyzer DNA Extractor.
cell analyzer, DNA extractor, and then plasma infuser. Alrighty, then going to need injector and blood purifier. Alrighty, eight and nine. I'm relatively doing this correctly, I think. So, cell analyzer, there, 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 and there. That's the DNA extractor. And you got that, right, so it should be all over here now. <sighs> Left click and then to draw their blood, just click to insert the blood back. Um, I'm gonna need another mob. This is harder than I thought. Creeper and an Enderman. If this works, we'll have an exploding Enderman and a teleporting Creeper. Um, left click and enter each other blood. Wait, what? Why is it disabled? I didn't put it in the configuration to tell it to be disabled. So I guess we're in none of that mod as a friend mod. Just because I don't know how to operate it. That's probably my problem. I don't know how to operate it, but I I want destruction. No, I'm fine. Okay. Alright. So Yeah. Let's just radiate this entire place now. I'm done being nice um, to the people in the game. So, yeah, let's do this. Force 
go. I am going to create a somewhat, hopefully, a good thing right in here. I don't know if this thing is going to stay safe or not. I would say no. This thing is not going to be remotely close to being safe. So the reason why I'm placing this down is to test something, so yeah, this area might get destroyed. Not from this, the payload I'm launching on it is the thing I'm talking about. It will get destroyed. Yep, that's it. And I just dropped it. Pick it up, pick it up. You barely, you guys barely only have like two seconds, but... If you guys did see it, then you guys know, then you guys will know exactly why, but yeah, it's called an orbital death ray. Like with oxygen and kerosene. Oxygen, there. So yeah, um, now we should be able to get a battery battery there there um breaking out right now Launching is Aggie. Hey, said Swan Time. Smoke particles in. But now this is what I wanted to launch. Did I really just do that? Bomb on four legs. I didn't even think that was going to damage the entire area. So well this thing did this thing physically get this um the I should try So, I'm almost guaranteeing this area down here is not going to survive, but due to the fire and incineration of the blast, I am removing a big chunk down here. When I say big, I just mean a tiny piece. Alright, um... Technically, you could make this into a tiny but still working missile silo. Missile silo. Alright, so if I'm correct, could do that and put battery in. Hope this works. I 
don't know why it always passes out when I'm putting it down. Probably because there's blocks already here. But if it works, hey, um, I'll have an extra somewhat layer of defense. So yeah. Now, I'm gonna put. I guess I'll do this. Which is gonna be crazy with this small thing, but yeah. So just to show you exactly how powerful the six capability could be. Field. There. There. That was with a force field. I'm almost 100% sure that I minimized some of the damage. Nope, they left about the same. So, yeah. Um, these can deflect missiles unless it's an EMP. Just like you guys know. Because if it's EMP, it will hit the ground, but disable the actual force field itself. Because entity like objects is the only thing that can't get in, but if it's EMP, if it's an EMP effect, it can get in. This thing's only here to protect you from missiles, on occasion bombs, um, gunshots, like. I'm going to, but I'm not going to use the full kamikaze blasts I usually do. Also, this isn't even technically the one I usually do. And that... I'm going to show you roughly the full Kamikaze Blast I usually do. Is that arrows? the shoot force of this thing one bullet can do. Uh eh, just to do it. There. I'm gonna need to count. I'm gonna do it to four. One, two, three, four. This should be a full force blast, but I'm not sure. So a full floor force blast could actually be stronger than that. I just did that strong because any stronger would cause a um, antimatter explosion blast, causing the entire surrounding area to not exist, nor matter. But it does go to bedrock, so technically matter will exist. Better version, though, is this thing. This is way more powerful than the other one. Like, you saw that single shot blast I did earlier? That's the single shot. That's the single shot. You may think it's tiny, but that's actually tiny. That is roughly two. Three, four, 
five. This should be a full force um, black hole shot. That was a full force black hole shot. Actually, I don't even, I don't think that's a full force, but that is a black hole shot. So yeah, and the black hole is shrinking, by the way. Also, as a constant thing of food, it doesn't um stay up. So yeah. And if you actually have a full force black hole that's red or yellow, um, I would use antimatter pellets or whatever they're called. Yeah, that's what stuff is. So yeah. First I'm just to show you guys, I'm going to use Hey. I'm gonna start up small. Is it really Is really my missile I was calling it. So a single item can get this thing to deactivate only for about a second. Which if you have missiles is enough to make something count. So yeah. It's a micronuclear. That's a thermonuclear. So yeah. I think I'm gonna start out with a um, go to and then that one. So yeah, don't know how it's gonna react with everything, with it being in the desert. Shouldn't react violently, but I'm in the desert, and yeah. Eh, that's true for the battery, so. So I am going to launch it from over here. Up here would probably not be a safe bet, but hey, it's Minecraft, so we do stuff the unsafe way. I'm gonna load every missile in, and yeah. So these are going to be a double missile um throw, which should in theory um should it be a double missile throw though? No, it's not going to be a double missile throw. Well, the first one isn't. Second one might be. Yes, I did just a second because I want to add a second because well, yeah. So there's going to be three. Um, think therm no, ecto no, endo, not thermo. So there's a thermonuclear warhead I would be launching. I would be running for my because those things are powerfully hot. Hey, hey, there we go. That one. I'm going to power than this one. It's not. And then I'm going to have to get that. So yeah, I've already caused a ton of destruction, and I'm not even purposely causing destruction. But even if you're playing with these things, it can still cause a massive amount of damage. I'm gonna wire everything up and yeah. There. There, alright. That one's set and currently the two endothermics are ready. Um, aka the two that would be launching as a double by themselves. Yeah, I'm going to start from medium to, um, medium to powerful. And because 
the powerful isn't spawned in. Yeah, let's just do this. Okay, I was like, what happened? Alright. Let's go. Slash time set day. Did it work? I don't know if it worked. Some of these missiles aren't doing quite the best. It says it was detonated. And if it comes into orbit, is that it? No. Oh. Then we'll see it around. It would be quite hilarious if it came in right around the I'm the other I shut this one off because then it would actually do some damage. Right, looking in orbit, nothing. So, it actually did more than I thought it would. Um, so yeah. Already started doing it. Yeah. Alright, the double has launched. So yeah, that is powerful, and not the way you expect. So yeah, I'm currently trying to get this thing to where it won't blow up completely. Yes, there's a force field. Will force field really protect this thing? The answer is most likely not. Hey, now. So, endothermics, explosion radius, not that powerful, but that they turn stuff ice. That's, if anything, the more powerful part about them. I'm going to do a cluster. Another cluster, and I'm gonna do just to prove my point. Any MP? No. Alright, so I'm gonna do cluster, medium cluster, and then yeah. Eddie. I was supposed to be breaking into clusters. Was it the clusters? I'm not sure. So it actually... We had some backfire. So yeah. And somehow the top EMP still survived, so still slightly have an extra thing of um, leeway. Hey, let's just go straight with this one.
almost at my spawn, so this is going to be our fortress, I think. Troop village. Yeah, okay, troop village would be so slash locate. Slash locate. Alright, now, slash kill. Slash TP. <sighs> Locate village. No, slash TP negative five one five two ninety eight oh eight. So you get me right about the village house or town square, and yeah, and I think town square would be right where that villager is not standing. Town square was where is it? Would where's the well? Does this place even have a well? Sure, place has a well. Does it? Where's a buried? It could be buried. So I'm gonna protect. Actually, I could probably protect two places at once. So yeah, force field radar. Now, battery. Not use the radar. Um. Probably get the. I'm gonna. Use some of these. That's the very last missile I'm going to be using because it will infest this world. Unless I catch it quick. So, yeah. I'm protecting four buildings, which are the four completely covered. There, 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 and there. Well, that's a farm, but those are the things that's our goal of protection. So, yeah. So, let's just say it's the village attacking the village because, well, they don't like, I guess, the other side, so they're wanting to blow it up. And it's just a weird thing to think of, so yeah. Battery. Then, laser designator, laser. In here, it's called the Long Range tar Target Designator. Designator, yes. But I did that. Hey. It's a 3 by 3 so. Yeah. What's making it spaz? Oh, it's villagers. Villager. Chill out. You don't have to make you make yourself chill up. Dude, chill. Okay, fine. I'm not going to make you chill now. Wow. 
mass cover nuclear bullets. Hey. You got the same problem, so I know. Did you just? Sound science division. Uh, yeah, this. <laughs> I'm center of this. So, theoretically, um, by the end of my nuclear, uh, by the end of my missiles, those will be gone. Um, besides, hopefully, the last part. Know exactly how strong these shields are, so yeah. Let's start with this a normal one. So I'm just gonna go with that, 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 that. See, so that's in the order. So it will get crazy quickly. So yeah. Alright, let's do this. How close? So... I would say 1 to 10 is... Do you think? Um... Night vision. Maybe we could get night vision version. There's a village we're trying to get in or out. I don't actually am surprised. So, I think that may be the damage. I'm not sure. That's some weird um, generation that so yeah. Alright. Now let's go do this. So, that's bad. War get nuclear and the village has not been um, sustained and has not sustained any damage. I'm actually a bit happy currently, but... This will most likely end the village. Uh... 99.99999% sure that this is going to end the village. That thing stays up with my, um... Stay safe. And I should go and fight. Say that this thing is safe, we could... Actually, yeah. Um. Oh God. I do 
great. Yes. The most part is activated. Already speeding atomic speed now. Fifth and other portal, then yeah. So there, we do still have villagers. I'm actually quite surprised that the villagers are alive. I do think this is ground zero. To escape and maybe override the nether, um, the nuke. If it overrides the nuke, I don't have to, um, worry about it. Did it just. That's lucky. And here's some ores. Alright, so that's some nether rack. No, this. It's another geyser. Uh, burning nether coal. Huh. The hell is transport me to an entirely another village. And. Um, ah. Uh, yes, ah. Uh, set worlds. On. Uh, kill. Right here. Here we go. So our village is saved. Once again. So, because I ended the nuke early, it. it it caused damage. It caused a ton of damage. But because because of how I um did it. Yeah. So this is now about to turn into the apocalypse of villagers trying to survive. Please tell me that did nothing. That did it. 
that did it. No, 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 no. This stuff is immune to water. This, that did it. The world's turning pink. So yeah, unless you want this to happen to your world, don't do it. It's called taint. Anything beginning with taint, don't even touch it. Because I can tell you that there's another thing besides this that that will destroy it. That actually has the same amount of force, and it is called the where is it? There it is. The IMP Resistue Barrel. I don't know if I said that correctly, but I may have to detonate another nuclear weapon. Dude, be free. You were just in nuclear warfare. Do you want to be in another one? Eh, you all survive. What the? Spawn Painted Creeper. I just need to prepare the nuclear warhead. Because the only thing that I'm pretty sure can end this is a full blown nuclear warhead. And you know how much I've let it spread? I would say that's. That, yeah, I don't even know if that's gonna stop. Please tell me now. That is in for sure. Okay, let's do this. Um, I prepared for full blown nuclear war. Stable reality? Yes, I am. Remember, that is only to get rid of this stuff. The only way to stop it before it gets this out of control is one, a new click always, but the other option is blow up grenades. And that's only when it's like five blocks. This is hundreds, if not thousands. So I'm actually would not be surprised if the nuke cannot handle this much. So yeah, that was a villager, I'm pretty sure that zombie. So yeah. Did it actually destroy the nether port? It actually destroyed the nether port. I've never seen something. Well, it's a nuke, so. I just that would destroy something. <sighs> I'm hoping they did not make the nukes less powerful. Because they need the nukes to be powerful. They are called nukes for a reason. Oh no, they're called nukes for a reason and also the paint problem. Yeah. And is the taint still active? Yes, it is.
that's three bombs I just uh, detonated. Which I may have possibly have the capability to do this. But one did not have the capability. Two? Yeah, maybe, depending on where I place them. I thought the fire would be able to do it, because, well, the fire would burn it. Um, yeah, no, it didn't. And this apparently a mine shaft, which is about to get destroyed if it's currently exposed. So, yeah. Okay. The worst disappearing? Yes. Most somewhat doing it. I think I may have done it. Oh no, that did not. Actually, maybe. I'm gonna have to stop one in the cave system though. There. No. That possibly did it. Yeah, you guys may think I'm crazy and I'm doing this just to get rid of one simple thing. But, I'll make a video on this stuff next video actually. I'll make a video on this stuff. Just to see how powerful this stuff can be. And I'll probably do this exact same thing of me trying to stop it. So yeah. Apparently I have two nukes going off. <sighs> Alright, so that was that nuke. That one just finished and should create a big hole there. Which I think it's updating right now. And... Yeah. Oh god, it still survived. Wait. Maybe destroy these blocks. Alright. This side is clear. It's on bedrock. It's on better rock. Uh, well, that's it for this video. Um, I failed in destroying paint, which took. I was close with six, seven nukes. Um, yeah, that took a lot. So, yeah. Um, I was wrong. I thought it was only going to take me one, because it's usually how much it takes for me to kill it, but it. It, I would say it takes about 10 to completely destroy it the way it was. So have a good computer if you're trying to destroy it. Or if you don't want it and it accidentally spreads, use grenades. Or if it spreads so much that you need to build your base out away from it, disconnect your base from any other block. Preferably five blocks off the ground or five, have it be in a cage five blocks from the walls. Then we, next video, I'll show you exactly how to prevent your base from it, and yeah, I'll probably do a sky base and a sky base just to show you exactly in a controlled environment. So yeah, if you like, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more of me probably blowing things up, um, like and subscribe, and yeah, just follow along with the HBM series, HBM Nuclear Age series. So yeah, Simon Mew and stay gaming.